Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Rupan the third part one episode number 18 and 19 reactions. All right, the previous two episodes, um, it was full of betrayals, you know, Fujiko as always, both in both the episodes, she somehow, some way or the other tried to betray Rupan <laughs> back to back. And uh, episode number um, 16, 17, yeah, 16, 17, 18, yeah, 16. Episode number 16, we had uh, where Fujiko uh, tried to, like, you know, like get like uh, some, like, you know, diamonds and stuff where he, she kind of, like, you know, like, what it calls, like, spurred Lupin on to just go and, like, you know, get them, get those diamonds. And Lupin, as all, like, you know, she kind of, like, you know, provoked him and all <laughs> Lupin did that tried to go like you know went to the uh, place and just robbed the whole thing and he was also able to get out of Zenigata's grips which was something I was not expecting him doing I thought he was going to get greedy and like you know Zenigata's going to catch him but no good for him but unfortunately as I said Fujiko betrayed him and you know like to try to take away all this uh, like you know uh, all the uh, loot for herself and uh, yeah and then like you know Lupin like you know tried to like you know get trying to get, get tried to get it back this and that like you know Fujiko and Lupin all them like you know, kind of started squabbling while the original owners like you know the people who were like sm smuggling these type of things they came in they started fighting with them Zenigata got notified I don't know from where and Zenigata arrives like it's it was a complete mess and by the end of it, uh, Rupan, uh, Fujiko, and uh, uh, Jigen, they try to get, like, you know, like, run away from Goemon. And in that process, they lose everything. All, all the diamonds and everything just lose everything. But at least they were able to run away. And, yeah, Fujiko lost everything. So it's not good uh, if, if you, like, you know, like, like some, sometimes, like, whatever you do comes back around to you. So that was episode number 16. Episode number 17 also had like a similar thing, which we were unaware of from, um, at the beginning because we thought that whole watch thing where, where it was told that, yeah, this is a bomb. You need to like, you know, rob a bank, get 3 million yen, I think. And, you know, like that's when we'll like, you know, uh, let you guys go and that whole thing. And um, at the beginning, we were like, oh, Fujiko is also like a victim. But by the end of it, it actually, it actually clicked that no, Fujiko was actually <laughs> acting and she was planning to get everything, get all the money. Uh, but Rupan also had his own plan. You know, he, he actually uh, switched the money with fake money and like, you know, blew up their car and everything. And again, as I said, Fujiko betrayed him, but she got what she deserved again. And those two episodes, I like. It, it was actually funny how both those episodes, Fujiko actually tried to, um, you know, like uh, get everything from Rupan, but by the end of it, loses everything. <laughs> so yeah, it, like you know, like she she kind of got what she deserved in both those episodes. So yeah, let's see what this episode brings. This is episode number eighteen of Rupan the Third Part One. So I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Thank you to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. Okay, here's a countdown. Three, two, one, go. <coughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's see. Miss Global contest. Miss Global. Oh, I'm I'm guessing Fujiko will be here somewhere. Uh 
Okay. I'm sure Fujiko will be here somewhere. <coughs> okay. Wait, what? That's what they're planning? <laughs> Promoters. Sponsors? I'm guessing. <laughs> wow. Oh, Smith. Art. Okay. Okay, makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Decade ago. Also. Wow. <laughs> yeah, he's retired, I guess. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, there's another plane. Smugglers, enthusiastic collectors of okay. Damn. Hmm. <laughs> All right, I was thinking Fujiko would be here in the contestants or something. Keep an eye on the beauty contest. Beijing contest to Marcuse. Yo, okay. I'm sure Fujiko will be here somewhere, but I'm wondering how. Miss Global. <coughs> hmm. <laughs> there they are. Just standing there. Wait. Is this a reporter now? Damn. What? Okay. <coughs> wow. Oh my god, there she is. I was like <laughs> All right. Okay, so what are they doing actually? I'm sure there's something else going on in the background. Like there you go. It's like talking about some job, alright? <coughs> <laughs> These guys. We <laughs> Okay. It's in this corner. Oh my god. Are they like doing like an auction or something? Wow, they're auctioning like what the hell? <laughs> It is pretty good, I have to say, like, you know, this plan that they're doing. Hmm, <coughs> true. Wow, so they're doing it like this. Interesting. <laughs> wow, yes. Yeah, exactly. This is a quite a solid plan. <coughs> mm. Yeah, what do we even do?
Okay. <laughs> oh, what's Claremont going to do? <coughs> Wait, what? <coughs> okay, I'm, I'm sure he's going to. Oh, okay, Zenigata will be here now. Yeah, he's thinking that Rupa knows about the the art. Uh, there you go, Zenigata's role. Yeah, he's a police officer, you know. Okay, <laughs> that is true. Fear Rupan because. He has this plan as well. It's all according to his plan. <laughs> oh boy. Just <laughs> keeping an eye. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> oh my god. I I wonder if he's still in his disguise as <coughs> There you go, there's Fuziko and Wow, this is his voice, Rupan's voice Miss Gandhi? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. True. This is one of the... <coughs> oh. <laughs> okay Miss Piccolo Miss <laughs> Piccolo Obviously, this will be the <laughs> Japanese. Uh, yeah, there you go. <coughs> He's just sitting in the what? Come on, Zenigata, do your job. Up. Up. Is that going? Yep, there you go. Going on is here. Yes! <laughs> it's a man! Damn, he, he jumped! What the hell? Oh, there you go, he has a parachute. I was like, what's he doing? <laughs> Ooh, cool. Wow. Okay, what's his plan? What is it's like a distraction or something? Oh, oh, he's targeting. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, this is how they're going to show what. Okay, I understand. He ate it. Yeah, oh my god, he ate it. So it won't, oh no.
Wow. Damn, he's gone. Okay, nothing worthwhile happened. Ah, uh, they weren't able to get the proof. Oh no. <laughs> oh, he's here. I don't think they, I don't think they got it. They just okay, they did get uh, you know like him eating the thing. It's <laughs> backwards. Okay, there you go. They they are going to see that he put it in his mouth. Yeah, there you go. Okay, they found it. But will this work? Like Okay. Huh. Okay. Money and jewelry. What? Uh. Oh, wait. Huh. <clears throat> Moving to the big island. Oh, maybe it's in there. Okay, 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 it's in there. Small bags. Water, maybe it's in, in there. Yeah, oh, yeah, they did come back for the suitcase, like you know, like the, those guys, these, these, yeah, they did come back for it. All right, yeah, like they run away and then come back. Hmm. <laughs> I, I love this song, this, this one that... Okay, I'll talk about it later. <laughs> yes, infiltration successful. Oh my god, Zenigata. Okay. Okay, hi you guys. He's going to see you. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, is, is this, is this someone in disguise? Like that was fully a lie, like, you know, false information. I think this is someone in disguise. Oh, it is going on. There you go. 
<laughs> wow, I was not expecting him actually wearing a disguise. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Well. <laughs> Wait, what? Those are those are not people. Wait, what's happening? Special judging. Souvenirs. Okay. Richard. Well. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> They're not here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Wow, I'm <laughs> okay, I wonder what's inside. Hmm. Damn. Okay. Okay, that's the scores. Okay, number five. Damn. Wow. Okay, so... <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Okay. Oh my god, they're gonna get caught. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll be in for a surprise. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, well. Mm. Yep. Oh. I'm sure it's, there's nothing inside there. Oh my god, that's what they did. I okay, this yo, this came as a surprise. I was not expecting them being inside. Oh my god. <laughs> I that took took me by surprise, honestly speaking. I was not expecting the girls to be inside. I thought it would be some other fake things or something. <laughs> All the they're just stranded here. Oh my god. Successful job done. 
<laughs> yep. Uh. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. What? Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you got the criminals. <laughs> bye bye. Next week. Okay, wow. That's okay. That's funny. <laughs> so let's see if next week he's able to do something. Next week means obviously the next episode. Okay, so <laughs> all right. The the biggest surprise of this episode was I was not expecting the girls to be actually be inside the suitcases. Like they were all quiet. Like why? Like shouldn't they be struggling and everything? Shouldn't the you know boxes be moving and all? Like they were just all quiet and everything. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe like, you know, maybe Dupan told them that, oh, this is part of the, you know, like this is part of the whole program. Like we, we're going to like, you know, <clears throat> tape you up and like, you know, like tie you up and keep you inside the suitcases and you'll have to keep quiet. That is like part of the program, you know, like it's like a surprise or something. I'm sure he, he probably said something like that. That's why they were not struggling. Like they should be struggling, you know, like just, at least moving and everything, trying to shout and all. But they were all just quietly like, just sitting inside there. So that was weird. Unless and until, as I said, Rupan said something to them that, yeah, this is part of the program. Which, it, it would make sense if it was something like that. Like, you know, and that's why they were not actually struggling. <laughs> okay. Okay, this episode here. Um, in this episode, Rupan actually, I, I, again, wins, you know, the whole thing. And I can see this, like, you know, like, I mean, Miyazaki is, like, you know, styled here where basically most of the episodes Rupan actually wins and which is very like in which it never used to happen before like all this time i've been accustomed to, like you know with seeing Rupan actually losing everything either Rupan losing everything and Fujiko winning everything or like you know like uh Rupan just losing everything and also Fujiko also losing everything like i i, I was i've been accustomed like you know by watching the movies and everything i've been accustomed uh with that Rupan so, like, you know, seeing each and every episode, not only for Rupan, but Fujiko and the whole crew winning, it's kind of nice to see, like, at least, like, it feels like <laughs> they're all getting, you know, like, the things, uh, what do you call it, like, you know, the rewards here, and afterwards, I don't know how, what will happen, but probably, like, you know, when, <clears throat> in the upcoming, like, you know, in the further sequels, I'm sure it kind of changes more towards the Rupan that we know, where Rupan basically loses everything in every episode. I'm not sure, I'm just guessing. So, like, you know, they're, like, all winning in each and every episode in their own way. In these couple of episodes. I'm guessing that'll be only be for season one. Uh, I don't know, like, this is just a guess. <laughs> but it's nice to see, like, you know, him actually getting something out of the effort that he puts into stuff. And, uh, yeah. And in this episode, I guess everyone wins something in a way. You know, Zengata is going to get, I'm, I'm sure he's going to get a lot of praise and everything because he caught those smugglers, you know. Uh, he himself isn't happy because he wasn't able to get Rupan. But at least, like, you know, he's probably going to get, like, you know, a reputation boost and everything. Maybe a promotion, who knows. <laughs> like, he won in that department. Rupan won, Goemon won, Jigen won, uh, Fujiko won, everyone won. Uh, the only people who lost were those those guys, the smuggler guys, and and the uh, the beauty contest, uh, you know, like the participants as well. I guess they also lost something, you know, like they they thought that yeah we're going to like you know going to be like you know program worldwide program this and that, and low like you know and and then they realized damn we were just like you know involved in uh like, you know smuggling operation and everything like that that would suck. <laughs> but yeah anyways um so okay this episode here um 
I love the way that they like you know like the, their plan. The plan was actually a solid plan. You know? Their actual plan was that okay, like we have these um uh, these paintings. Uh, we're going to bring in the girls and we're going to make it as if oh we are scoring the girls while actually we are scoring the different paintings behind it different arts behind it and that's how we're going to do the auction part and then we're going to go to that you know like we're, we're going to have a perfect alibi then we're going to go to that island and we're going to you know like actually go on with the auction and execute it and everything will be fine we're going to have our own alibi and uh, and like you know we're going to like you know the whole process is going to go completely smoothly that's a solid plan you know like i never thought it was it would be something like that and it it, it was like you know solid but um, yeah rupan rupan was here so rupan kind of i'm sure he kind of like you know spied on them and uh probably i don't know like wiretapped them or something and that's why he got to know what they were actually planning so yeah rupan was here so sorry about that i guess they're all the whole perfect plan got ruined <laughs> okay so rupan's plan plan here was getting in as a tv crew member and <clears throat> trying to you know capture maybe some like proof and everything and uh, see like you know what's happening now here's the thing um at the beginning i wasn't able to understand what he was trying to do i was i was thinking like wait so he's getting in as a tv crew member what is he trying to accomplish here like and i was confused I, and then i thought maybe he's like you know trying to take some proof or something like they're doing these things uh, i was thinking about that but by the end of it i actually realized what he was doing he was actually he got actually he actually got in as a tv crew member because he as he said like you know and the cameras will be able to capture everything like we are human beings like you know even if we see stuff happening you know it's impossible to actually see the intricate details within like you know matter of seconds and everything was happening so quickly when goemon comes in you know like he starts slashing everything up and all those stuff and you know like they they they're rolling the camera and i'm sure that if the camera was not there they wouldn't be able to actually understand what happened there who had the you know the catalog and all that stuff he, like, you know like i'm sure they wouldn't be able to understand that that's why they got in as a tv crew member because they needed the cameras to actually see what was happening like in a, in a camera in a video camera everything is being taped so even if you miss something you can you, you can go back to the uh, tape and just play it back rewind it and see what happens and that's that's basically what we're, they were trying to do which i realized later on i was at the beginning i was really not understanding what he was trying to do as getting in as a tv crew member and then i realized that oh this was what he was doing he was actually like you know trying to find out where you know those things actually are and he he you know accomplished that <clears throat> in the, uh, you know like in the uh after that whole uh, situation of going on coming in like complete chaos <laughs> and uh, he he was able to get the tape he kind of rewinded that and was able to understand what was happening and you know then going on gave him the catalog and he saw the catalog and he was like all right so we're going to uh, do something else now here here was the thing where were those um paintings uh that again the camera helped out really a, a lot of like you know in a, in a huge way when goemon was like you know like completely putting the whole place into chaos uh there was that scene where there was like suitcases there were a lot of people there those people actually run away when goemon comes in swinging his sword and then those guys again come back for this for the suitcases like that was very suspicious now that i think about it because you know like the the suitcases um like the, in that chaos i doubt anyone will come back to get the suitcase they just run so them coming back uh, and it's like you know for the suitcase kind of showed that yeah there must be something valuable in it and it turns out yeah the paintings were inside those so <laughs> now here's like you know here here's where rupan actually understand what was happening and he makes out a second plan where he tries like you know he he decides to use zenigata as well again <laughs> okay the next part again this part i also wasn't able to understand in the beginning what was happening they they get on the ship and obviously zenigata kind of like you know goes away because of his false information 
and okay i think this is the first time i actually see goemon wearing a disguise like <laughs> when that person came in i knew it was someone else but like i was my like my i was not actually convinced that it was goemon in the disguise because i've actually never seen goemon take like you know wearing a disguise i think this is the first time we actually see goemon wearing something as a disguise like he never do did that before that's why i never thought that it would be goemon but surprise like you know I, like, it was actually goemon in a disguise i'm like damn <laughs> first time i was like you know i think i guess he's wearing a disguise and helping rupan out so yeah that's why you know zenigata goes away and he takes that opportunity to get in on the ship and <clears throat> he and the crew gets in on the ship and <clears throat> now here's the thing <laughs> in the ship like I, I i was very confused about that scene where everyone's like you know snapping pictures and all and like there's like cardboard cutouts I, at that moment at, at the beginning i was like wait a minute are those those girls but then i saw like they, these were like cardboard cutouts and i'm like what is happening here like what's going on and by the end of it i realized what rupan did there he <laughs> He, he he like it's very apparent by the end what he did he he changed the pictures with the girls inside the suitcase like i guess they just like you know tied them up and maybe as i said like maybe rupan said something that oh this is a part of the like you know show you like, know don't struggle don't do anything this is like some kind of a surprise or something you know like i'm sure he said something like that to the girls that's why they were not struggling at all and you know like they kind of like tied them up and put them in the suitcases while those cardboard cutouts were just there like as their replacement i guess <laughs> and they took the pictures for them and my god like wow and <laughs> then in in that place now i have to say like they're very stupid you know those guys that they were actually like you know smuggling the stuff like they left the suitcases alone in that ship and they were just here like talking about the like you know who gets what without even having proper security like one of the guys said i, th I think like one of the guys said something like oh like aren't you like you know why did you do that like uh, like you know like uh, those suitcases like have those valuable things you just left it there and the guy was like oh i'm actually establishing your alibis and this and that like that's very stupid in my opinion like why like you know that like what was that like rupan easily got it like it's like a child's play like like taking a lollipop from a kid <laughs> that was just it for rupan he just you know like just grabbed the, the, the suitcases like, changed the, the contents inside with the girls in it and uh, you know like uh, contact like you no know, zenigata was contacted zenigata comes in and <laughs> they were like oh like rupan took the like you know the, the the girls and zenigata rushes in the the suitcases also arrive and like bam like you know like <laughs> they they see like the girls were in the suitcases and zenigata just arrests them while using that as a confusion rupan and his crew are just gone and they also took their boats and everything like perfectly well executed plan as i said the biggest fool here were those guys you know where they were so lacking in security like what the hell and <laughs> i think they, they probably lowered their guard as soon as they heard that rupan uh is like you know like somewhere else like when the false information came in that rupan is somewhere else i think they probably lowered their guard or something they were like oh rupan used this as like a bait for something else and that's why i guess they just were like ah leave it leave the suitcases over there you know like all that like yeah it's probably that i don't know but yeah that was that was just perfect for rupan and his crew he just got everything he got the pictures and all and <laughs> and then like he put them on the the, the sail i think that's what the, you call those yeah the the the, the thing the cloth yeah it's called the sail isn't it yeah sail of the ship put it on the sail all those pictures um i'm sure they're going to probably i don't know like sell it in the black market or something all the pictures like who knows what they're going to do with it but yeah that's 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 worth a lot of money and they just got everything <laughs> and zenigata 
uh, kind of lost, you, you can say, like he was just, I guess, manipulated all along, just used for Rupan's plan. Mm -hmm. But at least he got those, like, you know, smugglers. Like, I guess that's like a good thing. <laughs> at least he got something out of it. But yeah, like, Rupan is not captured and, 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 and the pictures are all gone. So, <laughs> nothing you can do about it. And I love the way, like, you know, in the end, Zenigata says that, oh, I'm going to catch you, you know, like, next week. And I'm, I'm guessing Rupan is, is like, you know, it was like a weekly, uh, you know, like, airing. It, it aired weekly, I'm guessing, at that time, when it was, like, you know, like, re releasing. Uh, so, that's why I think Zenigata said that. Like, that was like a fourth wall breaking. <laughs> and, okay, so maybe in the next episode, uh, this was episode number 18, yeah. Uh, the next one, episode number nineteen, is I like you know it'll be kind of funny if Zenigata actually tries to, again you know Zenigata is involved in this episode. Let's see because he did say in episode eighteen that I'll definitely catch you next week. So I'm get, hoping that this episode has Zenigata in it and he actually tries to catch Rupan again here. So yeah, anyways, let's get started with this episode. Uh, this is episode number nineteen of Rupan, uh, the third part one. So. Yeah, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. Okay, here's a countdown. Three, two, one, go! <clears throat> Wait a minute. The disguise that, that Rupan tore off from his face. That's the same guy that we saw in the previous episode, didn't we? One of those uh, auctioners. You know, the, the one with the you know, bald head and the little patch of white hair? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. France Fair will open in Tokyo. Oh. Oh, okay. Ga who? Ganimar. Ganimar. Oh, interesting. Zenigata. <laughs> oh my god, here we go. Oh my god, I, I think he's going to roast him or something. Oh my god, he's roasting him. <laughs> Oh damn, that's a huge statement. You know what would be funny? If actually <laughs> Lupan and Zenigata teams up in this episode <laughs> to, to show this guy. <laughs> I know that's not going to happen. Oh my god. Yeah. That's a bit too far, exactly. <laughs> Zenigata is also not happy with this guy. Which third generation will win? Dochi ga kasu ga sandai me. Alright. Battle of the third generations and Zenigata. Okay, there they are. There he is. Face to face. Confrontation. You, you kind of roasted him on television, so...
four. Yeah. Maybe strapped or something. <laughs> oh my god. I think that's part of his trap. There you go. <clears throat> okay, so there'll be a lot of other things as well. <laughs> okay hmm <laughs> Okay. What if they steal it before it arrives or something? <laughs> That'll be fine. Okay, no, they're they're already here. What? What the? All right, there you go. The call card. Alright. <clears throat> okay. Oh my god. Oh, it is underneath. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's trapped. Okay. Ah. Yeah. What the? It just. Oh. Sweating. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. Yeah, which... <laughs> Oh, there he is. <laughs> there he is. As you asked, he's here. <laughs> yeah. Since all of those will be mine after. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. This is a mind game. You know? No violence, please. Oh my god, is that a bug? Yeah. <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> Yes. Then got us here. <laughs> uh. 
Yep, it's concerned. <laughs> okay, so that's how he's going to infiltrate. Oh my god, they're waiting here. Okay. Yep. But how are they going to get in? Fujikons again? Okay. Oh, uh, is he going to like push him in or something? Oh my god, I feel like that's what he's going to do. He's going to push him in or something. Oh wait, he doesn't know? Oh, he forgot. Okay, never mind. Okay. Yeah, we need to open them. Oh, I've already called. Who is it? Jigen? Let's see. If it's Jigen. <laughs> there you go, Jigen. Wrong. This one's a fake one. If. <laughs> All of them are fakes. <laughs> He's going to faint. He already lost before he lost. <laughs> or maybe he, it's just a part of the plan. Oh no. I feel like he's playing them. I feel like he's playing them. Oh no. Oh. Or maybe not. Oh no, I feel like he's actually playing them. I don't know, let's see. Oh my god. Oh no. He's acting very suspicious, this guy, this girl. Oh my god! <laughs> we have another Zenigata! Oh no, he did not suspect him! Oh, I thought, okay, never mind. <laughs> wow! Oh no! Yo, move! <laughs> my god! Oh no, both, oh no, this is bad. Oh no, what do we do now? Oh no. <laughs> Come on, jump, yeah, run. You cannot do anything now. <laughs> well, it's a failure. Well, he talked big, so I guess. What? Okay. <laughs> uh. Wow.
What happened to him? What happened to him? Oh! Okay. For a moment I thought Ganyman is like actually playing them or something, you know? The way he was acting was kind of suspicious. But yeah, no, probably not. What happened? Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, what is happening with him? Oh no. Okay, well, let's see. <laughs> okay. Yep, this is, oh boy, this is a trap. But he does have like a grenade launcher. Will it even reach? Oh. oh no. Oh my god. Yeah, that was a. Damn. <laughs> no. Wow, they just. Openly confront. Oh no no no! Maybe there's like a trap or something. Oh! <laughs> oh! Yep, there you go. Trap. Run, Fujiko! Run! <laughs> Rupan is not here. Rupan is not there. Oh, is that him? <laughs> ah, come on, grab it! <laughs> Obviously, it will not go that far. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. You know what I think? If they actually worked together, they probably would have been able to capture Rupan. But no, they won't. They won't do that. You know? <laughs> Damn, the security. <laughs> Science and logic. What? How? I don't think it's that easy. We did see what happened, didn't we? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's not a strategy. Damn. Okay. All right, he has a plan which up until now we have seen like his plan is solid, Rupan's plan all the time. So let's see what he does. Maybe he's inside the armor or something. <laughs> I know he's not. Okay, there he is. <laughs> Ah, 
Okay. Damn. Wow. <laughs> oh. Special attraction. Wait, that's not Rupert? Who is that? Rupert is here. What? What was happening? Oh. You guys, you're supposed to work together. Oh my god. <laughs> I think that that's like a dummy or something. I'm pretty sure. Wow. That's, that's probably a dummy or like a person in disguise Ah, oh, god Let's see if Zenigata is able to recognize Okay, who is in <laughs> Wait, what's happening? Are these like random people in Rupan's disguise? <laughs> Arrest all of them. <laughs> He's like, what is happening? <laughs> <And there is. laughs> I wonder how he got so many people. <laughs> Wait, what's happening? Why is everyone Rupan? Okay, this is weird. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh my God, what is happening? <laughs> I... This seems like some kind of weird nightmarish dream or something. <laughs> oh god. This is actual people. But wait, how are they able to do this? Oh, that's a... Oh my god. I thought it was Rupan in disguise. That's just a... Oh my god. Yep, it's gone. But how did they do this? <laughs> oh my god. Ah! Oh! Wait, one thing I'm really... Is that... Yeah, that's the end. Wait, how did he get so many... Just to say. Are those all like people in disguise? Did he like hire them or something? Like what happened? I don't understand that part. Like, did he like hire them or something? Like how... How did they have so many people? Like who? Like I wouldn't understand if it was like two or three people. You know, he he hired them, and uh, you know did it like this. I would understand that. But this is like hundreds and like I don't know what happened here. Like that was very weird. But yeah. Anyways, all right. So <clears throat> this episode. Okay, this is a this is a really good episode. I like this one because it had like you know like a uh, thing where Rupan kind of failed uh, two times back to back, 
uh, he was able to get away, but still he kind of failed. And he kind of like, you know, learned from his failures and was able to like, you know, accomplish his goal by the end of it. Now, this, like, you know, this episode made me think, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure it would have been a very difficult, uh, like, you know, it would have been a tough time for Rupan if Zenigata and this guy, I forgot his name, the guy, anyways, uh, be, what was his name? Ben? No. Where is that? Ganimard. Okay, Ganimard. Ganimard. Okay, uh, if Ganimard and Zenigata actually, uh, you know, like cooperated with each other, I think it would have been a tough time for Rupan because they themselves were pretty, like, you know, uh, what do you call it, competent enough to do it. Like, not only Zenigata, but Ganimard also, like, you know, showed uh, that he was you know good enough to capture Rupan so if they actually cooperated together and did things together who knows maybe it would have actually been really tough for Rupan but he kind of like you know he failed two times he failed but still by the end of it Rupan was able to become the winner because they were basically fighting against each other and it's like it was like a contest for them <laughs> like yeah now this is one thing that I said in the beginning of the episode. I said like it would have been really funny if you know like if something ha like this happened like Zenigata was like you know mad at this uh, at Ganimard because he you know like kind of disrespected him in, in front of camera like so many people. While Rupan was also mad at him because he disrespected uh, like you know his grandfather's collections and stuff. You know in front of so many people. So I was just saying like you know it would have been funny if Zenigata and Rupan you know like I don't know, like teams up or something, <laughs> and actually tries to like you know like get back at him. I do wonder if there is like Rupan has so many episodes, you know, like it's like so many, like season two and three in itself has like two fifty plus episodes. So I wonder if there has been any episode where something like this happens, you know, where Zenigata and Rupan, obviously they don't want to work together, but they have to work together to get back at someone else. You know, like, like there's like a common enemy and Rupan and Zenigata kind of works together to like, you know, defeat that person or something like that. I wonder if there's any episode like this. I'm sure there is. Like, because we did have like a similar thing like this in one of the previous uh, movies that I watched. I don't remember which movie it was, but I do remember there was like a movie where Zenigata and Rupan did cooperate together because they were like in a pinch like you know like they they got into a pinch together and that's why they had to cooperate to get out of that whole situation <laughs> so like you know like so yeah like I, I do wonder if there's like another episode like this where someone else is the enemy it's like the common enemy and both of them kind of <laughs> tries to get back at that person all right anyways okay so um yeah this episode here um Oh my god, I, f I forgot his name again. What was his name? Bunny? B Benny Ma? No. I, I don't know. Oh my god. Just a sec. <coughs> Gani Mard. Why am I calling him Bunny? Oh my god. Gani Mard. Gani Mard. Okay. Gani Mard. Okay. Um, so yeah. Uh, we see this guy Ganimard who is also supposed to be wait who was he just a sec uh, they said something about his ancestor being okay there you go Mr. Ganimard is uh what is it Mr. Ganimard is the grandson of the late inspector Ganimard oh so kind of I'm guessing he's kind of like uh like the like Zenigata is also like uh a, like an a, what do you call it like a successor of uh, uh, Heiji I think that was his ancestor's name yeah I think it, it was he Inspector Heiji wasn't it like saying I think it was something like that I don't I don't remember the actual name so yeah the, so they are kind of similar in that uh, like you know in that aspect like both of them their uh, grandfather like you know their ancestor were like uh police inspectors <clears throat> so yeah it's interesting and the thing about this guy was he's also like a third generation just like lupan <laughs> so he kind of took it a little bit too personal i guess 
he was like yeah i'm going to get a roof on because you know both of us are third generations and zenigata is not competent enough like <laughs> i'm i'm sure he understands now why zenigata isn't able to capture rupan it's not because zenigata is bad but because Zen, uh, because rupan is too good that's basically it and uh, yeah like you know like this is like a thing like i i i'm like, you know, i do wonder like i'm sh i'm sure zenigata had to like you know listen to these type of things like people who don't know about the situation a lot of people probably kind of like you know like back talk like this they like oh look at zenigata you know like um he is trying to capture rupan for so long but he's unable to do it or something like that and i do wonder maybe he he has like you know like kind of went to some similar experience previously because as i said it's not that zenigata is like you know not um like you know uh, what do you call it uh zenigata is unable to do it but it's because rupan is too good it's not that zenigata is bad but it's because rupan is too good about it so people who don't know about that i'm sure a lot of people probably judges zenigata like i do wonder you know like yeah something like that but anyways and that's a completely different thing but yeah he kind of like you know bad not bad mouse but kind of tries to roast zenigata in, a, in front of the tv camera in front of the whole world and also like uh, insults rupan's uh grandfather's belongings and he was like ah these are all like you know worthless or something like that he said said something like that so <laughs> yeah and this guy was like yeah i'm definitely going to catch rupan this and that here you go you can see this amount of traps this and that while rupan was just underneath you know in the sewers just listening to them <laughs> yeah and uh, <clears throat> Okay, so then Rupan kind of gives a little, you know, like a uh, what do you call it, a little appearance in front of Ganimard. He he comes in front of him and he's like, oh, I'm like you know, like I'm I'm we have three more days. I'm going to prepare and like I'm definitely going to uh, get the stuff. And uh, <laughs> like you know, Ganimard was like, yeah, nah, my logic and my science, it will be prevalent. So, <laughs> yeah, okay, now, here's the thing, I, I love, the, like, you know, that Zenigata, not Zenigata, sorry, Rupan actually took Zenigata's, um, you know, disguise, and, <laughs> and got in with Ganimar. Now, here I was actually thinking, like, maybe he's, uh, like, like, this part kind of, like, you know, like, was surprising. Like, I, I don't, I don't understand. Like, you know, Rupan tried to get in and get, tried to get those things, the belongings. Um, while it was, like, you know, like, already, like, it was, like, you know, filled with drafts. He did listen to them before, you know, from underneath in the sewers. So why did he make that mistake? I, I think he probably, it, it can, it's probably because he, he was so excited that he just tried to grab it. It's probably that. It's not that he didn't, because he was underneath, he was listening to them talking and Zenigata did mention about the traps so yeah he was probably too excited and he just tried to get it and Ganimard was like wait a minute what are you doing like didn't I just tell you yesterday that this place is trapped <laughs> and Rupan is like ah oh, okay yeah yeah you're right <laughs> so okay now <laughs> I love the way they did it now here's one thing this part I, I thought something else was going on what I thought was like you know like that whole situation where uh, Zenigata or Rupan in disguise um, calls uh, like you know in like a specialist <laughs> a specialist he calls uh, him in who's obviously uh, Jigen in disguise and asks him to see the authenticity of the, those those uh, diamonds and those jewels and <laughs> he like obviously Jigen was like oh this is all fake you know like nothing you can do about it and my god like here i thought like obviously he kind of broke down to, like the whole situation was like that and then we see zenigata or rupan in disguise taking all the those things and he was like oh i'm going to take this to the police station this will be evidence this and that all just you know like he just started making things up and he loaded was loading everything in and here's what i i thought that maybe this was actually part of Ganimard's plan because he was like you know he was kind of really weird acting really weird in that situation just sitting there like you know like puffing his pipe and kind of talking in a very weird manner and 
I was thinking, I was like, wait, wait a minute, is this guy like actually knows that this is Rupan in disguise and he's actually playing him? I, I was pretty convinced that he's, he's, he's actually trying to trick them. I thought like, yeah, maybe, maybe like, you know, he's trying to trap them into something else. But turns out like, no, he really was depressed at that moment. <laughs> oh my God. Like, I thought like the, the way he was so depressed, I thought he was probably acting or something. And trying to trap Rupan, but no, turns out it was very simple. He really was depressed. And uh, like uh, that was very apparent as soon as we saw like, you know, Zenigata come in. And the original Zenigata come in. And that's when, like, you know, Ganimad realizes that, oh, this one's a fake. He tries to grab the, you know, like wheel, but obviously, like, you know, like Rupan kind of, kind of like, you know, bashes him. <laughs> he falls down. And yeah, they run away. So yeah, that was that was kind of surprising. I I I really was convinced that Ganimard was you know like um actually playing them in re return, and he has some other counter plan. Okay, now the final part of the like you know whole thing, where I love the way that this was like you know so like you know divided into so many different parts where so many things are happening, um where <laughs> Ruban is like ah. I'm giving up. You know, I'm I'm just eating my beans. Like, you know, let me leave me alone. <laughs> and I'm I'm pretty sure he did that because he he realized that it was a trap. I don't know. Like, if he did realize it was a trap, why did he not tell it to Zen and Jigen and Fujiko? I don't understand that part. Like, you know, um, I feel like he realized it was a trap. So why did he not warn them? I don't know. Uh, but anyways, you know, he was like, yeah, I'm, I'm like, you know, I'm not doing this. And Zenigata, uh, not Zenigata, so Jigen is like, oh, like, you know, look at them. They're just like, you know, just uh, transporting the thing. This is so easy. You know, let's go. And he was like, ah, let, like, you know, leave, like, you know, we'll leave you. Like, you know, let, let me and Fujiko only go. He takes a grenade launcher. That was something. Just goes there and obviously like i knew that was a trap like everyone like that's very apparent that it's a trap <clears throat> and like this is one thing i i don't really understand this like you know this one thing like jigen is pretty intelligent so i feel like you know in, in these episodes like in, in one of the previous episodes as well i feel like jigen acts so rashly and impulsively that like you know he, he just jumps in into things without even thinking and it's kind of foolish in actually some parts where things are very apparent that it's going in one direction, but he doesn't understand. I feel like this, like, you know, like the Jigen in, in, in this, like, I guess, like, you know, like Miyazaki's Jigen is kind of like this. He, he's kind of dumb, isn't he? <laughs> like, I don't know is, is it, if, it, if it is just me or like, you know, like Ruban is very intelligent, like all throughout. But I feel like Jigen became dumb in, in these episodes. Like this episode and also in the previous, like he's good with his gun, like that's obviously there, he's skilled. But I'm talking about his actual, like, you know, intelligence. It feels like it got dumbed down. I don't know why. But yeah, like even one, and I, I don't, like, you know, in one of the previous episodes, I do remember, like Jigen kind of did a similar thing where he just jumped into something and then, like, you know, like, uh, just realized that, yeah, like this is like a trap. <laughs> but anyways, enough about him. Okay, Jigen tries to like you know <clears throat> get that whole like you know thing, and he gets like, you know he gets into the truck, tries to get in, and all the police officers were inside. But you know like he was almost getting captured. Even Fujiko was, but Rupan came in and just saved them. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, so Zenigata failed as well. Now what they're going to do? You know now the like you know Ganimard is like you know transporting all the jewels using his you know like all his forces and everything like it was way too overblown you know they, as you can said like it, it looks like some kind of an army rally like so many people like you know people and so much security was happening <coughs> okay but yeah he tried to do that and everything was like you know like just going according to his plan <laughs> But okay, now here's where everything kind of starts becoming weird. You know, Rupan, they kind of come in disguise. Now, this is one part I don't understand what actually happened. You know, like, there's a lot of people in disguise. Like, at, at first I thought, like, maybe he just hired one or two people. But then there's, like, like hundreds and, like, you know, 
hundreds of people just coming in Rupan's disguise. And not only Rupan's disguise, like, you know, when they took off their mask, it was either Zenigata or, like, you know, um, uh, Ganimart in, like, you know, underneath the mask. Like, so they were, like, wearing two masks or something. Like, how was that happening? So, like, like did he really hire all of these people or something? I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, that was very weird and uh, Yeah, they like obviously they they were all confused. They were like, yeah, what are we going to do and using that confusion? You know like um, The actual Rupan and Zenigata They they were like, oh, let us let us just you know take these things out of here as as disguised as police officers and he just takes all of the jewels and briefcases suitcases and just goes away from that like you know, place yeah Rupan wins again so yeah Zenigata did tell in the previous episode that I'm going to definitely catch you next week but nah he tried but he failed again <laughs> as I said like I do wonder what would have happened if Z uh, Zenigata and Ganimar actually teamed up you know instead of just keep making this like a competition if they actually cooperated with each other Maybe it would have been a more difficult situation for Rupan, but nah, they wouldn't do that, obviously. <laughs> you know, like, their pride, like, you know, like, obviously Zenigata's pride was hurt in the beginning. Like, he's so devoted towards Rupan and some, like, you know, like, f person, like, you know, just comes in and he's like, ah, you're, like, you know, you're, you're lacking, you know, like, let me show you, like, you know, like, obviously his pride is going to be hurt. Like, I don't blame him. <laughs> Like imagine you are trying to do something for like, you know, like trying to make something for like more than five to six years and suddenly someone comes and just tells you that, oh, you're, you're incompetent. Like, damn, that would be kind of like, you know, like that would definitely piss me off. <laughs> and that's basically what happened here. So yeah, anyway, so that was it. That was this episode. I loved, as I said, this episode was really kind of like, you know, like a lot of things happen. Which is kind of interesting because this was like a 23, 22, 23 minutes episode just like the other episode. But it feels like so many things were in it. Like it was like fully packed. Like so, <laughs> so yeah. So anyways, that's it. So thank you guys for watching. This was my reaction to Rupan the Third Part 1 episode uh, number uh, 18 and 19. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know and I'll check them out. So yeah, that's it. So thank you guys for watching again and I'll see you guys next week with two more episodes of Rupan the third. Uh, the ne next week will be 2021. So two more weeks. It'll take me two more weeks for me to complete uh, part one. So after that, like, you know, I'll, I'll talk about it later. Like. And part two which episodes you guys will recommend me one or two episodes and i'll do them so i'll talk about it later so that's it so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week so until then goodbye and have a nice day